Hazel Glen College acknowledges the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nations as the traditional owners of the land on which the college stands. Hazel Glen College respectfully recognises elders both past and present. Welcome to our Foundation 2022 Information Session. My name is Emma Nema and I'm the Junior School Assistant Principal of Positive Climate, Student Engagement and Wellbeing. Today you will hear from our College Principal, Anthony Stockwell, Junior School Principal, Sean Taggart, Foundation Instructional Leader, Dave Roberts, Year Level Leader, Chantelle Dunbar and Domain Leader, Casey Roberts. We are looking forward to partnering with you throughout your child's journey at Hazel Glen College. Welcome to the Hazel Glen College family. Hello everyone, welcome to Hazel Glen College. My name's Anthony Stockwell, I'm the proud principal of our school. We would love to be meeting you in person and welcome you to the first time officially uh, as, a, as a parent and a student to our college. But the challenges we have faced over the last 18 months. We look forward to you starting your journey with us. One of the things I often share when we first meet is around the journey ahead. So if you imagine there is um, five days in a week, there is 10 weeks per term, that's 50 days per term. By four terms is 200 days per year. Times that by 13 years is 2,600 days of schooling. That's in front of you and your child. Like all journeys, there is ups and downs along that. We look forward to working with you, celebrating all the successes and working through the challenges that come uh, together to ensure the success for each and every child that attends our school. I know the staff that are at our college are absolutely of the highest quality. The work that they have done over the duration of COVID and lockdown and remote learning and the new skills they have learned to evolve as teachers to cater for the needs of students will be something that will be clearly evident to you. I certainly look forward to meeting you all over the journey at Hazelden College. I hope you enjoy the presentation to get an in-depth understanding of our school and we look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Hi, I'm Sean Taggart, the Principal of the Junior School here at Hazel Glen College. Welcome to our family. It's such a momentous occasion when your child first starts school. My girl started school 12 years ago and I can still remember it like it was yesterday. Those feelings of excitement, mixed in with a ner bit of nervousness as well, it's really normal. Our educators are here to help answer your questions so that your child's transition can run as smoothly and seamlessly as possible. I know you'll have lots of the questions, but hopefully you'll be able to answer most of them here. But remember, we're here for you when new ones crop up along the way. As parents, we want the best for our children, and that's what we strive for here at HGC. You'll have big questions like, will my child make friends? Will they like their teacher? Will they keep up with classwork? As a parent, we worry about these things, and I can tell you from my experience at HGC, so do our teachers. Our teachers truly care for their students. They spend a great deal of time really getting to know each and every one of their students, learning their likes, their dislikes, their learning styles, their strengths and their unique personalities. Our teachers are excited to foster a strong relationship with you to help to allow them to get to know your child so that they can learn the, to the best of their ability. It won't be long before our teachers will feel like part of your family too. We know that over the past two years, many of us have faced some extraordinary and unforeseen challenges. Your child has probably missed out on significant periods of kinder. They may not be able to participate in educational activities and sports and missed out on socialising with friends and family for long stretches at a time. But don't worry, we're here to cater for each child at their individual point of need. Our transition program is designed to help meet your child's learning and socialisation needs from whatever, wherever they're starting from from their first tentative steps into the classroom through to their orientation to year one. Your child's teacher will be there to help them guide them through every step of the way using our formulated program that will help them achieve success. But remember, it's not just about the teachers. It's about the relationship between your family and the school that makes a huge difference in helping your child succeed. We know that a well-built partnership between home and school is the strongest key to success for every child. 
When we're both on the same page, your child, our student, will succeed. At HUC, our core value is a relationship, responsibility, respect and resilience. They're key to everything we do here at the college. They're not just hollow words and some flags around the playground. They're the foundations of our whole school philosophy, the principles that guide uh, our school every single day. Our personal enrichment program is our social and emotional program that helps build on these values. We found this leads to kind, happy, safe, friendly children who look out for each other, make sure that everyone loves being a member of our school community. And that's our aim, to ensure that your child loves being at school and loves to learn, so they can be the author of their own story. Thanks. We are very aware of the interruptions your children have had in the kindergarten this year. It's about this time every year when we have conversations with the kindergarten teachers and students coming into school. We build our curriculum taking into consideration information gathered from these conversations. I want you to have confidence in us as we reimagine the curriculum for Foundation in 2022. Our focus in Term 1 is establishing a safe environment and a sense of belonging at school. We foster relationships with our students and between students. We will support their social emotional development, their social interactions and play as we grow their confidence and resilience. Students will develop the key learning essences of thinking, researching, collaborating, communicating, being a self-manager and being curious. Term 1 will also be about establishing new routines and expectations. Much of the picture I have just painted for you will take place through play and oral language experiences. Please take comfort and be assured that where the children are at when they come to school will be where we meet them. Learning is a journey. It is different for everyone and we look forward to partnering with you on your child's learning journey here at Hazel Glen College. Something you can do now and continue to promote is a love of reading. Reading for enjoyment, reading for learning. The graphic on your screen demonstrates the cumulative effect of reading at home and how this can be so essential to your child's literacy development. Sparking joy in reading and a love of books from an early age can influence your child's academic performance. At Hazel Glen College, in the junior school, we expect students will read for 20 minutes per school day. In our younger years, reading may look like the same favourite book being read and reread again and again, night after night. It's listening to stories, being read to, reading along together, retelling a story. It's the sounds of rhyme, a rhythm, a hum of words. It's talking about the pictures in a book and thinking deeply about the story. It's laughter and wonder and excitement. As your child begins to bring home books from school to read, you need to keep this magic going. They will want to read independently and practice their new reading skills. They will have success that needs to be celebrated and at times may find it hard, challenging and be reluctant to read at all. So a few words of advice. Keep calm, be supportive, take a deep breath and press pause for the night. Remember, we want reading to spark joy. At bedtime, select your child's favourite book and read it together. In our junior school student diary, you will find more tips and tricks for supporting your child with reading at home. The junior school student diary is used for many things, including a reading log for keeping track of the number of nights read throughout the year. It also contains the Oxford words and a gratitude journal. Hazel Glen College incorporates the use of technology in every area of the curriculum. It is a tool used in each student's learning journey, and from semester two next year, we ask that foundation students bring their iPad to school with them each day iPads need to be 32 gigabytes or greater and we ask that you contain them in a sturdy case and bring them fully charged each day from Term 3. Please also provide a set of headphones for your child to use along with their iPad. We'll assist you in installing the variety of apps on their device to assist in their learning. Compass is the platform where all college communication is shared. Information from the college will be posted to families, student absences are recorded, payments can be made, teachers can be emailed and much more. In the coming weeks, you will receive a unique login and information to support you with setting up access to Compass. Please keep an eye on your emails. Seesaw is a digital portfolio used in the junior school for sharing student learning. This is one of the ways we communicate and celebrate your child's learning and how you can share it within your family. A parent is their child's first teacher. Up until your child starts school, you have been there to guide them through their first shaky steps their first tastes of food, first words, and so much more. Starting school is a big deal for all the family and can bring up a range of emotions from excitement and wonder to feelings of uncertainty and sadness. 
Research shows that children whose families are in partnership with the school do better at school than those whose families do not engage with school. At Hazel Glen, there are many ways for you to partner with us and engage in your child's learning, including reading with your child regularly, showing interest in your child um, in their learning, and talking positively about uh, school and encouraging your child to tell you what they are learning about, celebrating your child's learning through Seesaw, and attending our classroom helpers training and volunteering to help out in the classroom. At Hazelden, we have wonderful, nurturing, passionate teachers who want the best for their students. We have mad teachers, that is, teachers who make a difference. We focus on building relationships with our students. We have people, do you know that people don't learn from people they don't like? A happy child makes for a positive learner. Can I say now, apologies in advance for the foundation, that your foundation teacher is gonna become the hero in your child's life. Being prepared to be told that your child, by your child, that you are not doing it right. Miss Dunbar does it like this, or Miss Dunbar says this. You are gonna get sick of hearing your child say your foundation teacher's name. At the beginning of every school year, we spend the first few weeks implementing a startup program where our teachers skillfully build trust and rapport with their students, as well as creating a safe and supportive learning environment. We develop shared expectations around routines and have focus on understanding of our college, college values of respect, relationships, resilience and responsibility. The wellbeing of our students is equally as important as academic endeavours. We support and nurture our students' wellbeing in many ways, including through our personal enrichment program. In PrEP, in Foundation, our teachers explicitly cover topics including turn taking, how to enter play situations, asking for help, kindness, and what it means to be a good friend. We monitor the needs of our students and we adjust our program to meet their developing needs. I like our school uniform. When worn correctly, our students look smart and respectful. We have high expectations around wearing of our school uniform. We expect our students are dressed neatly in correct uniform according to the season. So in the junior school, we have a summer uniform and in winter, a winter uniform. However, in the junior school, they can wear them all round. You will see in the photos on your screen, uh, Charlotte wearing her skort, her polo top underneath her jumper and Sam in his short sleeved polo top and black cargo shorts. Please note, leggings cannot be worn under the uniform. Black stockings and tights can be worn under the winter tunic only, but not the summer school dress. School shoes must be black. They can be Velcro or laces, and on days when your child has physical education and sport, they can wear their runners and sneakers with a supportive rubber sole. When my son was in junior school, he wore all black runners every day. That way, we didn't need to remember which day was PE day. In Term 1 and Term 4, students are required to wear the Hazel Glen hat outside and in winter the Hazel Glen beanie. All hair accessories need to be in school colours and long hair should be kept neat, tied up and off the face. Students are not to have extreme hairstyles, that means no lines and pattern shaved into hair. Our students are expected to have the school, school bag, the, sorry, the Hazel Glen school bag and also the Hazel Glen back black book bag. These can be purchased along with our uniform at our uniform supplier, Primary School Wear or PSW in South Moraine. For more information about our school uniform, please refer to our school uniform policy, which can be found on the college website. Information about our uniform supplier, PSW, will be emailed shortly. Transition is a really exciting time for families and students as they begin their schooling journey. There will be a lot of dates over the next few slides, however, this will continue to be communicated to you via email. Also, I'd like to mention that with the year that is and restrictions still in place, transition this year will be virtual. Fly into Foundation. This will be weekly videos from our Foundation team filmed in different locations around the college. The videos will show the classrooms as well as the specialist teachers and their classrooms. The Foundation teachers will also read a story and answer questions. There will be a Google form sent out for families to send through any questions which can be answered in these videos. Transition dates. Transition will be on November 5, 12 and 19 with November 26 being Meet the Teacher. 
These virtual sessions will be via our WebEx platform. We will send out information in the coming weeks about picking up an activity pack and also a link for you to be able to log into them. Moving on to next year and into the classroom. On Tuesday the 1st of February, there will be 15 minute interviews with the classroom teacher. This will be an opportunity for you to have to talk to your um, classroom teacher and look around the classroom and see where their bag goes and where they put their water bottle. You'll also be able to talk with your classroom teacher about your child. You'll be notified of the interview times towards the end of December. The first days of foundation will be the 3rd and 4th of February. These will be half days. There will be a morning or afternoon session and your child will attend one session a day. Wednesdays in term one. Over the first five Wednesdays of school or five weeks of school, students will be required to attend one of Wednesdays by appointment only. This includes the first Wednesday between the interview day and the two half days. This Wednesday, one hour time, will allow classroom teachers to further get to know your child and complete assessments that will assess with planning and teaching. An email will be sent out towards the end of the year, letting you know your child's interview day and time. Full-time school will then begin from Monday the 7th of March. At Hazel Glen, our classroom doors open at 8.30 and learning begins at 8.45. You can drop off your child at the classroom door between these two times. Give your child a kiss and a cuddle and say goodbye. Your child's teacher will take good care of them and guide them into the classroom to begin their morning process. This 15 minute morning process allows children time to unpack their bags and organise themselves for the day. Their teacher will show them where to put their lunchbox and drink bottle. We encourage students to unpack their own bags to allow them to take ownership over their own belongings. It is important that your child attends school each day and on time. If your child arrives at school after 8.45, they must be signed in at the junior school office and someone will come and collect them to walk them to their classroom. A similar process is followed if you need to collect your child early from school. Please head to the junior school office and not the classroom. Your child must be signed out if they are leaving before dismissal time. Someone will then walk your child to the office to greet you. Dismissal time from the classroom is 3.15. Your child's teacher will wait with them until we see you and pass them back to you. Every year is different in foundation, but this is just a quick snapshot of what a year in foundation can look like. Term one is an exciting term. It's all about settling in, making friends, learning about school, how it works and where they fit. To begin Term 1, our Foundation teachers will set up a range of fun activities in the classroom each morning. This allows your child to engage with games and toys as they are settling into a new environment and new people. Term 1 is also when we meet our buddies. This is usually the highlight for the Foundation students and the Year 4s as they form lovely relationships with each other. Our first house event usually takes place in Term 1, which is Athletics Day. This event takes place on, all the, on our Junior School Oval all students are able to dress up in their house colours and compete in a range of events to win points for their house. We then finish the term with our Easter Bonnet Parade. This is a wonderful opportunity for students to create their own Easter Bonnet and show it off in our Junior School Parade. In Term 2, students are settled and comfortable in their school environment and our focus shifts to learning. Our Curiosity Unit in Term 2 is all about toys, where and how they are made, as well as looking at toys from the past and the present and how they have changed over time. During our Curiosity sessions, students are provided a range of opportunities to collaborate, create and showcase their learning. In Term 2, we are able to spend more time with our buddies. This includes lunch dates and completing activities together in the classroom. We also hold our College Walkathon or Cross Country in Term 2 where students get the opportunity to raise money for our college and participate in these events. In Term 3, students are settled and have learned lots already. Our curiosity focus for this term is around weather. This is a really fun topic where students get the opportunity to engage in different activities and explore concepts like thunderstorms, clouds and the four seasons. Term 3 also means our 100 days of school celebration. This is celebrated at school, where students and their teachers dress up as 100-year-olds and engage in a range of activities around the number 100. This is a very important day as it is a chance for us to celebrate all they have learned throughout the year. We also have Book Week and Footy Day in Term 3. These are both dress up days where we get to parade our costumes and footy colours in the gym and participate in Book Week and Footy Day activities. Finally, in Term 3, we have our Junior School Performing Arts Concert. 
each student at Hazel Glen in their house colours, get an opportunity for, for them to collaborate with different year levels and get together and practice a performance. At the end of the term, we have our performing arts concert where each house colour performs and students get the chance to sing and dance and connect with our house culture. Term four is a really special term in foundation. Students are independent and preparing for their transition to year one. It is a term of celebrations and recognition of the amazing growth students have shown throughout their first year at school. Our foundation breakfast takes place in term four, where students and teachers come to school in their pajamas and eat breakfast in the classroom together. This is a great way to celebrate their independence and a wonderful beginning to our college camping program. Our curiosity unit in term four is the world around us. This is a great topic where students learn about different environments such as the farm, the city, the bush and the ocean. A highlight of this unit in the past has been an excursion to Bundura Farm, where students have engaged with farm facilities and Australian wildlife. Our foundation celebration takes place towards the end of term four. This is a special afternoon where families are invited to attend and we acknowledge and celebrate students' successful first year of school. We then end our school year with our annual Christmas carols. This is held after school and the students get a chance to perform a Christmas carol with their classmates in front of our school community. This is a really lovely, lovely community event and one of the highlights of our school year. If you have any questions that haven't been answered in this presentation, please email Dave and Chantel via the email address on screen or alternatively call the school on 9 717 7500. Thank you for your time and we look forward to meeting you and your child very soon. Take care.